Hello, Derek Jones here at the Clark's Harbor Art Show. And here's the door prize. A photograph and a mirror. And the draw will be for, when will the draw be? Uh, the draw will be tonight at the close of the show. It'll be two, the two draws. Okay. So I'll try to capture all the work on the video this time. We'll start going on this wall over here. On the star route. Scenes of home here on Cave Island. Of course, there's no map to Cave Island. Very colorful, Charmaine. I knew I'd seen you. He's wild. 
local street art artist Nancy Perry's masterpieces. Mr. Perry. Did you know that? Nice. No, I did not. I don't know if that's a painting. Well, a photograph, it's so real. Fantastic, Rex. Thank you. 
one so I, I paint very thinly for an oil painter so you're, you're glazing as you apply the different colors I'm, I'm based by glazing I mean I'm just I'm doing layer by layer, by layer on top of each other right and letting the underlay color come through the, the next one but and that's why I'm working so thinly right now so that's that's versus <laughs> just taking like, scraping it off yeah yeah basically um, impasso painting like it's called so where you're basically every stroke is just the paint itself on the canvas right so I in other words it would be like oh. an idea like, if I did just put pure paint on there and then pure paint pure paint pure paint there's it's not layered it's just but like that is is that's pure paint on top of paint, right? Whereas in, instead of thin layers, like what I'm doing here is just thin layers so that the underlay comes through the top layer. Does that make any sense? You can actually see. Yeah, there's, yeah. because of the way color works, there's uh, like you can see in here, the, there's under, underneath here is a, is a green. Eh? And as I put this yellow on top, you can still see the green coming out. Oh yeah, a okay, bit. yeah, I see that. Okay, so that's that's a glazing technique, and dependingly, it can be various layers of that. Like, so those are all glazed. So, so, so you're you're making it like as real as you can possibly make it. Not necessarily as real. It's just a different technique of doing it. But it is more. It does have a tendency to look a bit more realistic, right? Like. Yeah, like, like those over there to me, yeah. they, they look like photographs. Or, or yeah, that's, yeah, they, it takes a long time, right? So like that, if, if you can see the glaze is in his face. Then you can see the pink undertones and the yellow undertones that I've done, and then layered on top of layer. So you see the, so one tone, the, the yellows underneath come through the pink. So that's the glazing. I just started using this technique a year ago. I, I used to paint more like that. Like, 
it's just I'm just experiment. It's no better, no worse. It's just I'm just playing with it. Yeah. So, are you self-taught or do you take courses? I originally started on my own, and then when I was a kid, and then uh, I went to University of Guelph. I studied at University of Guelph, and I'm an art teacher for high school. So, yeah, I got. I mean, we got a lot of university courses in art history, too many of them to even mention, you know, like that kind of thing. Do you sell? The lady there was interested in buying some of, the, some of your works there. Which, which lady? Marcia. Okay, no, I hadn't spoken to her yet. I, I, I will sell, yeah. It's just, um, certainly my wife won't let me sell that oh. fiddler because she, she, she found him. Like, she actually saw that. That image that she described to me, and she had not paid it for. So, and that's my wife right there. Is it? Nope. Hi, sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm doing video today. I was here yesterday. Oh, okay. Pictures. Okay. Yeah. I'm Barbara. I'm Derek. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Derek. Derek, okay. Derek Jones. Derek Jones, where are you from, Derek? Newton. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I was here yesterday doing the photos, and I was really impressed. You yeah, know? I and, and, then, and then I came back to do some video, because... Yeah, yeah. Time, you know, the time went by so quickly. I, I'm really impressed with the talent here. At, at this little local. Yeah, there's some really great artists here in this area. Yeah. Are you originally from Delta Scotia? Always, yeah. yeah. Like I, I moved next next door. Now I'm back to the, my house as yeah. a baby, right? Yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I've gone nowhere. Huh? Yeah. yeah. No. So, so, how many works do you produce?
I just saw your name and thought, I know your name. Oh. Yeah. 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 So, Barbara Mitchell? Barbara. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. So you guys have been here for a long time. Yeah. I think we came around the same time as you did. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Yeah. So we've been here for the Stilton yeah. 2, and yeah. they came in here before us. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I met her because she was just starting up the bakery. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. It's an art for the bakery. Yeah, that is And then we also have the thing in common that we were both, uh, well, she lived in the Right, oh, okay. And yes. so what did you do with this? I worked for a tour company, so I was only really there in the summer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Lucky you. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, we were teaching something. We taught in campus. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 To me, this is second to none, but I think it's just because we just Oh, I thought it was because we first got there, but we kind of started to get back a little bit. Where are you from? I work in Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love I love that. started painting, he started building the frames. And then after Bud passed away, Rex said, do you mind if I do them? That's fine. Help us out. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a great idea. Yeah, well, some of them, it's just like a natural form, but uh -huh. some yeah. it isn't. So that's natural driftwood? That yeah, it's driftwood that we picked up from here to Yarmouth and back. I was telling Rex, I said, he copied off you, but he said, no, we don't way around. He, he copied off me. Cover off you for yeah. the frame. Yeah. 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 No, they don't well, that, that Winston, when um, they had the tourist bureau in the craft shop up there, he sold a lot of frames. Yeah. 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 We had a load of it. So it's, uh, oh, I've got to do that now. Look at, see, you can get all different. Like that one there is just, and these are just simple, but some of the ones, I don't know about what's those on the back. Are they just I can't remember. Sorry, is this oils? Yeah. 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 Oils. And you mat your, you mat yours, eh? Yeah. Well, this is now he's got some of them. Some of them he's got the he's made this, right? Yeah, but I don't. Some mat I mine. mat, some I mat, some I don't, some I don't. But I've been doing like those floating frames. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, might give yeah. me some incentive to get busy again. Start yeah. start working again. Do you do much of arch painting or? Well, those are all mine there. Which the ones? On the, on the down there? Okay. <laughs> Ready to go? Okay. I'm drawing these. Yeah, this is um, this is done with colored pencil. Yeah, and <coughs> pardon me. Thank you. Um, so I take the, I get uh, just photographs of people and uh, color them. It takes me about um, four or five hours each one. Yeah. And today I'm doing my dog. I'm doing my dog. This is Oliver. Yeah. So this is something new to me. Usually I paint in acrylic. 
I've been looking at uh, tutorials on the internet to get tips myself of, of what I should be doing to. I watch all them videos on that and people draw, you know? You know, it's amazing what they can do. You know? Oh, it is, yeah. And when they start out, you don't know. In touch with you. Yeah, you have to start a lot of faces. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much. And if I start with an eyeball, then you know, you know when you get done it. <laughs> Well, what amazes me is, you know, you look at a picture like this and you see all that black, right. but there's actually all kinds of colors in there. There's, you know, there's gray and pink and... They blend in from one... They blend from one to another, yeah. So you have to keep putting layer upon layer upon layer to get the... Um, I know the wife with the toll pan. She done, you know, the... Oh, yeah. yeah. But she wouldn't let me watch her. Oh, she wouldn't? No. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking having people watching you. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be over to her, I'd watch, you, you get out of here. <laughs> so the one thing I learned uh, just recently is that you use um, a mineral spirits uh, to blend the blend the watercolors so that they, the white doesn't show through quite so much, uh, which I had no idea you use pencil crayons with mineral spirits. The mineral spirits blends the colors? Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. It, uh, it almost makes it work like, uh, almost like paint. And what's the material in that, the color pencil? Some, uh, some of them are uh, oil based, so it's like almost like using, um, you know, an oil. So when you use the mineral spirit, it's kind of like making it like a, almost like an oil paint in a way, because it's, you know, uh, dissolving the oil a little bit. And, uh, Use a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit, and um, well, I didn't do it. I don't want to mess up the ones that I've already done. I'll see if I can show you here. What, what type of paper are you using? This is a uh, Bristol Bristol board. It's called. It's quite heavy. Yeah, I, th I think this might just be done on. This is Strathmore paper, but. The Bristol board is seems more durable. Because yeah, I've got I'm doing color color drawings of this of this thing that I saw UFO or drone recently, and you know, and I did photographs of the car. Oh, cool! Like on the highway scene, with this object in the hands. Yeah. So I'm here on my own education to learn as well. Sure. Like um, there's, a, there's a Facebook page uh, called Photos for Artists and you can go on there and use their photographs uh, without infringement of copyright, oh, okay. which is really nice because yeah. then you can, like, I love doing the ethnic uh, yeah, costumes right, yeah. or whatever. Uh, so these are all taken off uh, off that site. Oh, I can't believe this is <laughs> Well, uh, um, I don't know if you were here when I was saying, but I'm just learning how to do this. You were saying that, yeah. yeah. So, oh my goodness, it's amazing. <laughs> so it's uh, still a bit of a challenge for me, but it's always fun learning. But the stuff that I see on there, that the people are doing the, the tutorials that I've been watching, yeah, uh, absolutely amazing. <laughs> like you can see, I'm a total beginner compared to compared to them. This one, that one there, yeah, that was a lot of work because that scarf is so detailed. Yeah. And then to get her face to look. Her expression. Yeah. 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 I think I made her look a little bit older than she actually is. No, she looks concerned. You know, she looks like I she's think got she's texting. And... Oh, okay. she looks <laughs> but it could be. <laughs> I 
could, you, nice. could you please pick up the milk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the photo didn't show the bottom part of her, but yeah. I, I kind of thought she must be texty. It could be. I mean, she's obviously a modern. Yeah, right. A modern lady. But it looks like she has concerns. <laughs> So color, uh, pencil crayons, eh? Yeah, this, I, I was just telling your wife it's new to me, but uh, yeah. it, it's fun. You know what you might want to try sometime? They have watercolor pencils. Yes, I've seen those, yeah. yeah. But you have to make sure you get the right ones. Oh, some of them, I bought them once, yeah. and they say watercolor pencils, but they don't dissolve the water. Oh. <laughs> but if you, like, go to the Sears, yeah. you know where the Sears is? Yes, I do now. I do now. I just found out about it. Yeah. 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 I order my stuff from there. Right? Yeah. And um, anyway, ask them for like you can see it online. You see the watercolor pencils. Yeah. But what's nice about them is you can do this kind of thing, like your regular, you know, yeah. cross hatching or whatever it is you're doing here. Right. And then you can just take a brush and blend parts of it. So it's kind of like using watercolor and pencil at the same time. But see, what I just learned from the internet is that you do the same with mineral spirits and pencil cramp. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. yeah. It's dirtier though. Oh, it, yeah, I guess okay. it probably is. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. I know parts you want to do it on watercolor board. Yeah, well this is a Bristol board. Okay. Oh, um, that should be okay. You're not finding it properly or anything. No, I'm just like, using I mean, just when you're using it. Oh, you just, just using a little tiny yeah. little bit. Yeah, not even getting the paper yeah. wet. Yeah. Just uh, I'm talking more about the watercolor pencil crayons. If you're going to use a lot of yeah, washes on it, right? You want to have it. On it. See, I'm going like that before I even touch it to the. Yeah, I yeah. see. Yeah, kind of like you, I do that with these pastels. Oh, do you? Pastels, yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, this is totally new. I just started a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. It's not. It's fun to experiment. Uh, it's really it? fun. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> is that long enough now? <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, for sure. We'll see you again. What's that? Some classes. You'd like me to do some classes. I'd like for you to do some. You would. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, I think it would. Yeah. What would you like? Watercolor, or acrylic? Well, I've never, I've never used anything like my oil paints. Oil paints. Did Gloria you? Gloria gave a few uh, lessons. Right? Yeah. His mother-in-law. Oh, so okay. So there was about five or six of us, I think, that went off to Barrington and started. Uh, and I only took, I'd say maybe four or five, and then I went somewhere on vacation. I want to come back, I never go back into it again. So she just told me, go on my own. Yeah. So that's just what I do. Um, no, no, no right, wrong, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, well, I wouldn't mind doing classes, you know. Be nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If I, Wanda was talking about that yesterday. Yeah. Actually, just done one right now. Ah, uh, a little bit, yeah, I guess. That's <laughs> anyway. gorgeous. That's my puppy dog. Yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> see, I envy anybody that can do this. Pardon? I envy anyone that can do the faces. Oh, you see the mess I made of my Oh, yeah, I thought, I actually thought that was, it, it was well done in many ways. You had the, you had the colors really nice. The, the eyes were good. Uh, you just, I think you just needed to make those eyes a little closer together. Yeah. And did, What did you tell me? What did you well, tell me about the width between here and here? You told me it, it's... It, it's about, it's equal to about an eye. It's like having three eyes. Oh. Okay. okay, one, two, three. So Didn't that's true. My Af Afghan lady that was on uh, National Geographic cover about 20 years ago. <laughs> so I ripped the cover off and threw it in a drawer. Some days, so one time I was fiddling around and I did it. But I got her cock out. <laughs> one eye's bigger than the other. It's like I was picking her brain yesterday. That's, that's, that's what we're that's what we learn. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm finding that I can I can learn a lot just watching the tutorials on the internet. Yeah, so I'm going to start doing that. Yeah. So what do you do? Just use some colored pencils to do the shading in the little. Yeah, I'm not I'm not painting at all. I'm yes. doing colored pencils. Yeah. So oh, I, excellent. These ones is an example here. Oh, the ones that the ones I've finished. You know, I think it'd be nice. Maybe show, in the show, spring. Show we'll, to the camera what she's done already. Right <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> This is a beautiful one too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
gorgeous. So, this, these aren't hard to store and handle. Well, exactly. They don't take up any room, and you're not making a big mess. I mean, they're close, but you can handle them and put them away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this is the wonderful end of this video. Hmm? This is wonderful end of this Isn't video. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I was just saying to them, there someone said, no one, we didn't know anything was going on. I said, well, I've been posting it for a week. The tongue looks unreal. Pardon me? The tongue looks unreal. Yeah. That was my favorite part of the of doing that, um, was doing the tongue. It, uh, I bet you went soon to come. Where did you go? It was um, really, really blended, so I actually got the, you know, the curves on it and whatnot. Yeah, that's Time. Yeah. Uh, that's that's starting to be the way it is, but it's good in a way because uh, I'm retired, and uh, you know you get uh, you can only do the same thing so many times, and it's nice to have a, a variety of things to so. Do you project them, or do you draw them in freehand? Um. Some I draw freehand, some I um, uh, kind of put it over like this and, and determine, you know, where the eye is going to be. And some I do on a grid, you know, draw out a grid and on the, right on the paper and then transfer it over. Um, Have you seen them done with just that little hand? Like, like a projector and it projects on it. Yeah. Draw around it. Yeah. See, with with colored pencil, uh, you you can't use graphite. You have to use uh, your pencil, uh, your colored pencil. Otherwise, the graphite will will come through and make a you know make a mess of your colors. Really? Yeah. Unless you're doing. It, it, in a dark area, but if you were to do graphite in here, it, you wouldn't be able to get rid of it when you were doing that white, right? The white would, it yeah. would make a mess of your white. That's a, that's a big tip. I mean, yeah. that's going to help me with white drawing. Yeah. Well, do you, are you going to use colored pencil? Yep. Yeah. So, don't use graphite to draw it with. Use the colored pencil to draw it. Like, even a gray one, you know, is, is good. Yeah. Yeah, this, this battery, I thought it was going to be dead like five minutes ago. I just had to run out. She's a great picture. <laughs> I also learned that you can use your finger to blend uh, color pencil, but you shouldn't use your finger to blend graphite. Because with graphite, it if you've used graphite before, it'll go really shiny on the paper, and then you can't do anything over top of it. Whereas uh, it, that's not so important with uh, colored pencil; it won't go shiny if you use your finger to do it. How much tape do you have on there? <laughs> the the battery warning was like five minutes ago. Ah, uh, it's still going? Been running on empty for quite a while. So. <laughs> and, and with the graphite pencil, there's various shades and hardness. Yes, yeah, so that's right. I was doing just the graphite pencil drawing. Can I use the different hardnesses on the same one? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's how you're going to get your different uh, tones and shades and stuff. Yeah. 
and different uh, thicknesses of lines. The softer your pencil is, the thicker line you're going to have. Is the, the harder your pencil is, the thinner your line is going to be. Right? Yeah, and you always use the traditional pencil sharpener. The sharpener. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a problem. And are, are you able to erase? Pencil? Well, you can.